Dear students, Namaskar. I hope that you all must be doing well and excited for today's lesson. Children, today we are going to discuss Chapter 11 of Science of Class 6, Light, Shadows and Reflections. Children, first of all, we will recall what we already know from our previous classes. What do we need to see different kind of objects around us? Are we able to see any object in a dark room during night? Can we identify the shape of an object from its shadow? What name do we give to glass-like materials? Now let us see what we are going to learn today. Transparent, opaque and translucent objects. Mirrors and reflections. First of all, we will get to know about what is light. Do you know? Light is a form of energy which helps us to see objects. What are luminous objects? Objects like sun that give out or emit light of their own are called luminous objects like sun, bulb. What are non-luminous objects? Objects which do not emit light of their own are called non-luminous objects. Example, wood, chair, table, etc. Now, let us understand about transparent, translucent and opaque objects. The objects around us are categorized into three categories on the basis whether they allow the light to pass through them completely, partially or do not allow the light to pass through them. The categories are transparent, translucent and opaque. The objects which allow the light to pass through them completely are called transparent objects. When light falls on a transparent object, it passes through the object to the other side. And this is the reason that we are able to see through transparent objects. Glass, air and water are some examples of transparent objects. There are objects through which light cannot pass and such objects are called opaque objects. That is why we are not able to see through opaque objects. When light falls on an opaque object, the shadow of the object falls on the other side. Wood, metals, dark colored plastic and stone are examples of opaque objects. There are some objects through which we can see but not very clearly. Such objects are called translucent objects. Oily filter paper, butter paper are some examples of translucent objects. What exactly are shadows? To understand about shadows, let us perform an activity. One by one, hold each of the opaque objects in the sunlight slightly above the ground. What do you see on the ground? You know that the dark patch formed by each on the ground is due to its shadow. Sometimes you can identify the object by looking at its shadow. Spread a sheet of paper on the ground. Hold a familiar opaque object at some height so that its shadow is formed on the sheet of paper on the ground. Ask one of your friends to draw the outline of the shadow while you are holding the object. Draw outlines of the shadows of other objects in a similar way. Now identify the objects from these outlines of shadows. How many objects are you able to identify correctly? 
do you observe your shadow in a dark room or at night when there is no light do you observe a shadow when there is just a source of light and nothing else in a room it seems we need a source of light and an opaque object to see a shadow is there anything else required the shadow can be seen only on a screen the ground walls of a room a building or other such surfaces act as a screen for the shadows you observe in everyday life shadows give us some information about shapes of objects sometimes shadows can also mislead us about the shape of the object few shadows we can create with our hands and make believe that they are shadows of different animals a pinhole camera children now let us try to make a pinhole camera to make a pinhole camera we need two boxes so that one can slide into another with no gap in between them cut open one side of each box on the opposite face of the larger box make a small hole in the middle in the smaller box cut out from the middle a square with a side of about 5 to 6 cm cover this open square in the box with tracing paper or translucent screen slide the smaller box inside the larger one with the hole in such a way that the side with the tracing paper is inside your pinhole camera is ready for use light moves in a straight path to perform this activity let us use a piece of a pipe or a long rubber tube light a candle and fix it on a table at one end of the room now standing at the other end of the room look at the candle through the pipe is the candle visible bend the pipe a little while you are looking at the candle is the candle visible now turn the pipe a little to your left or right can you see the candle now what do you conclude from this this suggests that light travels along a straight line mirrors and reflections we all use mirrors at home you look into the mirror and see your own face inside the mirror what you see is a reflection of your face in the mirror we also see reflections of other objects that are in front of the mirror let us try to understand reflection with the help of some activities this activity should be done at night or in a dark room ask one of your friends to hold a mirror in his or her hand at one corner of the room stand at another corner with a torch in your hand cover the glass of torch with your fingers and switch it on adjust your fingers with a small gap between them so that you can get a beam of light direct the beam of the torch light onto the mirror that your friend is holding do you see a patch of light on the other side now adjust the direction of the torch so that the patch of light falls on another friend standing in the room this activity suggests that a mirror changes the direction of light that falls on it here is an activity that shows light traveling along straight lines and getting reflected from a mirror let us perform another activity fix a comb on one side of a large thermocol sheet 
and fix a mirror on the other side. Spread a dark colored sheet of paper between the mirror and the comb. Keep this in sunlight and send a beam of light from a torch through the comb. What do you observe? Do you get comb-like pattern? This activity gives us an idea of the manner in which light travels and gets reflected from a mirror. Summary Shadows are formed when an opaque object comes in the path of light. Images are very different from shadows. Objects which emit their own light are called luminous objects. Mirror reflection gives us clear images. Air, water and glass are examples of transparent objects. Image formation through a pinhole camera is only possible when light travels in straight line. Now, I will ask a few questions and I hope that you might be knowing the answers. So my first question is, match the objects in column 1 with suitable options in column 2. So the objects in the column 1 are luminous, non-luminous, transparent, translucent, opaque. And the options in column 2 are glass window, moon, piece of iron, sun, fog. So let us try to match column 1 and column 2. Luminous. So which of these is a luminous object? Sun. Non-luminous? Moon. Transparent? Glass window. Translucent? Fog. Opaque piece of iron. My next question is, what are translucent objects? Give examples. And the answer is, translucent objects allow light to pass through them partially. And some examples are, smoked glass and fog. My next question, on which principle of light does pinhole camera work? And the answer is, pinhole camera suggests that light travels in straight line. My next question is, how are shadows formed? Shadows are formed when an opaque object comes in the path of light. My next question is, differentiate between transparent and opaque objects. The difference between transparent and opaque objects are transparent objects allow the light to pass through them completely whereas opaque objects do not allow the light to pass through them. We are able to see clearly through transparent objects whereas we cannot see through opaque objects. Children, with this we complete our chapter. I hope you all must have listened to the chapter carefully and understood it well. Children, stay safe, stay healthy, keep learning and keep growing. Thank you.